funny. <laughs> that worked really good. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Are you ready for everyone's favorite podcast segment, Funny Versus, starring the incomparable, the illustrious, the spellbounding, captivating, mind-bending, a Bunny Williams? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? Are you revved up? Are you, are you, are you charged? Are you ready to do it? Do it! Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Well then, without any further ado, it's time once again for Bunny Versus. And now here is your host, Bunny Williams. Take it away, Bunny. Establishing shot. Camera slowly pans in. The sign says, Westview. Population. Is dawn. The Scarlet Witch appears in the sky and lowers herself to the front of the to the front of the house. A voice is heard from the back. I'm in the back. I'm canning bananas. The Scarlet Witch goes around back, sees Agnes Harkin in a in Harkness in a in a very smart apron, canning bananas, peaches, and roaches. Uh, Scarlet Witch says to Agnes, I'm setting you free. Agnes comes back to herself. You're letting me out of here? Yes, I feel I'll need you more out in the world than locked up here. Well, okay, when do I go? Not so fast. I can't have you out in the world causing all kinds of trouble like you know you're prone to. So I am going to curse you with a conscious and bang! Aquafina. Aquafina is Agatha's, Agatha's conscience, follows her around everywhere, and tries to stop her from doing bad shit. That's a show. It's a great show. I want to see like a team up show featuring all of the comic relief. Yeah. So, uh, the Mexican from Ant Man. Yeah. Teamed up with Darcy from WandaVision. And uh, who else? Uh, Korg, the rock monster, is yeah. there. Aquafina, Wong. Yeah. And just all of them, and they team up, and then... Uh, the time variance. Owen Wilson's there. Yes. Oh, wow. Ka-chow. We got to stop Kang. Ka-chow. So that's what I want in a Marvel movie. I love Aquafina. I can go for that. I can go for that. That, that would be fun. Okay, uh, Bunny, I have a game. Yes. Now that you're done with that, I have a game for us to play. Uh, I want to talk about sports. Uh, Bunny, how much do you know about the NFL? Uh, that's the one with the oval ball. Yes. Is that it? That's about it. I don't know. Okay. I, they, they run down the field with the oval ball. They got to get it through the hoops, the, the, okay. the, the posts. Uh, here's the thing. I'm glad that oh, you said that. guys got to stop them. Yeah. <laughs> Too much there. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you said that because I want the fun of talking about sports. The problem is, is that I don't know about sports. But I don't think that that should stop you from being able to talk about sports. So I've come up with sports talk that is all-inclusive. So now anyone can have the joy about talking about sports 
without knowing about sports. So I'm going to be talking about an upcoming NFL game. And then uh, after you see me do it, you're going to talk about an upcoming NFL game. And then after that, we're going to talk about an upcoming NFL game together. Okay? Okay. Okay. So uh, the first one, upcoming NFL game, Patriots versus Eagles. Now, uh, you would think that this one would be uh, an easy one because Patriots are total nut jobs with guns that love hunting in Jesus, and Eagles are birds in the sky. Advantage Patriots. But hold on there, okay? Yeah. Because uh, we're talking Patriots. How many of them were at the Capitol on January 6th? That this is a good point. I think it's yeah. So there I, might be. We're just asking questions. Yeah. So it, when it comes to Patriots versus Eagles, there might be like forty Eagles, like an entire flock of Eagles, and then like five Patriots who have yet to be caught by the FBI, and like one <laughs> of them's wearing an ankle monitor, <coughs> and it's like shit. Then we might have a birdemic on our hands. Then, boom, uh, advantage Eagles. Yeah, true. You know, you would think that the Patriots would have an advantage because they do have guns. All Patriots have guns, and they're total nut jobs. So you would think advantage them because they could just shoot the birds out of the sky. But I got to give it to the Eagles, okay? I got to give it to the Eagles. And, not, and they're not all birds. One of them's Glenn Fry. Okay. So, so it's a bunch of birds in the sky, and then just a batshit crazy Glenn Fry. If I'm not mistaken, he's eight feet tall, too. Uh, so, I think so. So a bunch of patriots versus fifty deadly uh, murder birds and a drunken Glenn Fry. Uh, advantage Eagles. I can, I'm gonna, I gotta say the Eagles are gonna win this matchup. Okay. So, uh, Bunny, I've got a, I got a match for you. I've got an upcoming NFL game for you, and this is going to be a difficult one. Vikings versus Cowboys. Who do you think is going to win in that one? Vikings versus Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a close game. This is going to be a close game. I mean, you know, I, I, I think if the Vikings can get their hands on the ball or get their hands on one of the Cowboys, definitely advantage Vikings. You know, but like the but Cowboys pirates have guns. are on horses yeah. and they have guns. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know if the Vikings can do much better than throwing a battle axe. Yeah, I... Did Vikings I, have bows and arrows? I mean, Okay, that, that may even the odds some, but there's still I feel like, horses. Yeah, I feel like the Vikings are going to have battle axes and clubs, but pirates are going to have guns and long swords, you know? The pirates, yeah. Well, you said yeah. the cowboys. Oh, oh, no. Uh, oh, Vikings and cowboys, you're right. No, yeah. the cow advantage cowboys. They got guns. They got yeah. guns. They, 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 got, they guns. got guns. I mean, I mean... My heart goes with the Vikings, you know, and and I think if they could dismount the dismount the Cowboys, even with the guns, a Viking a Viking can kick a cowboy cowboy's ass with a gun. Yeah, that's how fucking tough Vikings are. Yeah, but the horses, you know, how are they gonna catch them? Yeah, Vikings are so, fast, but a Viking can't catch a cowboy on a horse. No, no. I mean, they, I, they're good, but they can't outrun a fucking horse. I mean, yeah. you know. Vikings versus Cowboys. Okay. Now, if, Here's if, a... if the game was being played at sea, mm. that would take away the horse advantage. It and would. And the Vikings would pick up a heavy ship advantage. Yeah. But yeah. but I but the but yeah, yeah the cowboys aren't gonna have, yeah. Because if they board the cowboy ship, I mean, sure they're still on horses, but how far are you going on on a boat? Yeah. 
you know. And I'm glad that you brought up where is the match going to take place because our final football game is Dolphins versus Bears. Dolphins uh, versus Bears. And really, location is the most important part of that because, like, where are you going to have the match? Is it going to be in the ocean or is it going to be in, a, in the woods? You yeah, know, there's yeah. not an ocean is, in the woods. Well, this is important, but I don't think it's necessarily a, a, a game breaker. You know, I, I mean, like, right off the bat, I have to give it to the Bears uh, because the, the Dolphins have really been hitting the puffer fish a lot lately. Ah, and, gotcha. And, and if that's the case, even if it's in the ocean, they're going to be swimming sideways. Yeah. You know, just bouncing a little puffer fish back and forth and, like, not paying attention to where the ball actually is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got to give the adv- I, I Here's the thing is that this is – I feel this matchup, Dolphins-Bears, is a bit 50-50 because uh, bears are stronger. Bears have those claws and, and those – the, uh, those jaws, and they're super strong, and uh, you think advantage bears, but it's a King Kong versus Godzilla situation. Uh, the bear's brain is roughly the size yes. of this pea, but a dolphin's brain is considerably larger. A dolphin is a thinking animal. Yes. So I, 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 I gotta feel that, like, physically... A bear... May shit in the woods, but a dolphin may rape a seal. Yeah, <laughs> but a dolphin might invent a toilet. <laughs> so I gotta say that, like, as far as brute strength, oh yeah, uh, bears absolutely. But the dolphins, they're just a, they're just a smarter team. Yeah. So they might concoct a way to win. I really think that this is the best matchup. So far, you know. Well, the, the... well. Any 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 sporting event where you could probably witness a new emergent evolutionary feature of a species. That's right. Those are your better games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, personally, I root for the Bears just because of Midsommar. So, I I just have a soft spot for that team. Yeah. Plus, uh, as as much as I love the Dolphins, I don't think they have a shuffling crew. <laughs> I've never heard of of the Dolphins shuffling crew doing a rap. So uh, why should I listen to them? I only yeah. care about teams that have done raps. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, so. I I gotta go with the Bears as well because I don't like how the fucking Dolphins have been getting away with shit just strictly on their looks. Okay, yeah. they're a really cute fish, but they're really fucking bastards. Every time the Dolphins win a match, they play the songs "So Long" and "Thanks for All the Fish" from the movie version "Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy." Yeah. And so that's just an abs. That's a sports fact for you. I mean, do you think the pufferfish likes being passed around? No. Probably no. not. It's yeah. an asshole move on the dolphin's part. Yeah. And they will so that's rape my... other aquatic animals. Yes, they will. And it's like a power grab, like a prison thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But everybody's uh, ooh, the dolphin. Look at the dolphin, just because it's cute. No. No. I do yeah. not accept its cuteness as it being a good sentient being. Yeah. So, uh... Or so that's my team. game. Sorry. It's okay. So that's my game. All-inclusive sports talk. It's pretty fun. I like it. Yeah. Not I bad. think it's fun. So now, everyone can talk about sports. I got the idea from an episode of Perfect Strangers. Yeah. Fun yeah. fact, the end credits music of Perfect Strangers is not copyrighted. You can just use it. 
They copyright theme songs. They usually don't copyright end credit theme songs. So I've been using the end credits of Perfect Strangers sometimes really? for the end of story times. Yeah, I'll do a story time, and at the end, I'll have everyone laugh and go, no, that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> and then I, I pause it, and I run fake credits, and I play the end credit music from Perfect Strangers. Nice. And then, and then uh, I'm uploading the YouTube video, and it's like, oh, we don't have any uh, copyright strikes. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? Okay. I guess no one cares about end credits, as long as it's different from the opening credit. So, like, the, the little freeze. I'm, I've been really proud about that. Yeah. Oh, so that's all I've got for Bunny Versus. That was a fun game. I liked that. That was a fun game. I'm still waiting to get some kind of YouTube notification for uh, QAnon Shaman, but I haven't heard yeah. anything yet. They will always find a way. Yes, they will. To pull something of mine down, restrict it, or anything else. You know, I, I it's it's fucking ridiculous. The way they, the way YouTube just. Built creators. Yeah. Like, like the whole business model is, okay, let's get a bunch of creators, promise them money, and figure out every single fucking way there possibly is to not give them any money. Yeah. Like, it's, fucked up because, it's fucked up because it's fucked up because you make money on YouTube by uh, ad revenue. And you get the ad revenue by uh, signing up for their AdSense revenue program, and you're not allowed to <coughs> sign up for the AdSense revenue program unless you have, have like 10,000 subscribers or something like that. So if you're a small-time creator, you're just screwed until you get big enough to, to start making money from ads. But yeah. now YouTube is just running ads on... Now YouTube has the ability to run ads on everything. So even me watching my channel, I will sometimes get an ad, and it's fucked up because that's an ad running before my content, but I can't make money off of that ad because I'm right. not big enough. It's fucked up what, they're, what YouTube does. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, fucking fly. Yeah, YouTube is rough. Yeah. So... so you doing a bit, reading what your kids have said has to be age restricted. Mm -hmm. You know? It's fucking ridiculous. Like, I had a fight through the original QAnon Karen for it having medical misinformation. I'm like, dude, it's a fucking cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's a cartoon and it's a parody. Can't, like, it, it's annoying. Yeah. Something else recently got hit. I forget what. I mean, every every week, every every week, the show gets hit for copyright infringement for playing the trailer. But fuck you, it's not illegal. It's not copyright infringement. It's a trailer. But yeah. anyway. YouTube sometimes, it always has. sometimes I can I, I look in the mirror now and I actually see a woman and I'm really excited about that. I've come a long way in one year. What? I've come a long way in one year. Yeah. Yes, you have. Yes, you I'm have. Really, I'm really I'm really happy. Uh, oh, I, I went I went to the doctor recently. I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I went to the doctor recently, uh, my wife and I got a booster, and then my two youngest got their first dose of the vaccine. Yes. And as I walked in to the hospital, uh, I was expecting there to be a table right in the front. It's always right there, right in front of the, the automatic doors, 
and a nurse is there and they take your temperature, they ask you the questions and then you can go about your business. And I, and my wife already had physical therapy for her <coughs> big honking knockers. Uh, and so I was meeting my wife at, at, at physical therapy so we could get our uh, boosters and the kids can get vaccinated. And I, I say to the kids, I'm like, Max, Ellie, there's going to be a table here and a woman's going to be there. They're going to take our temperature and ask some questions and then we can go and we can meet mom. And I go through the doors and the table's not right directly there. And I'm like, oh, there's no one here. Huh. I guess I can just go. And suddenly I hear someone yelling from behind me and I'm like, oh, that must not be for me. And I keep walking and I keep hearing it. And then I keep walking a little bit more and it, that's when I realize that, that the, the person has been yelling, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And I turn around and, and I go, me? And she goes, yes, ma'am, can you come here? We need to take your temperature. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see you there, sorry. But I got upset because uh, I didn't want to go get my booster as a woman because I know that hospital, I know this city, it's going to be all old, angry people and I just didn't want to deal with that negativity. And I was gender exhausted. Yeah. So I went as a man, but still this woman thought I was a woman and kept saying, oh, s sorry, ma'am, let me take your temperature. Okay, you're fine, ma'am. Ma'am, have your kids had any symptoms? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. And I'm like, I was, I'm male presenting right now. I am trying to be a man, but this person thought I was a woman. And that really made me feel better. And so I went to Ghostbusters Afterlife as a woman. It was my first time going to a movie uh, in my small, angry, racist, bigoted, homophobic town as a woman. And it was, it was a real trial by fire because the entire goddamn town was there to see the fucking Ghostbusters movie. But uh, when we went to get the vaccine, I was male presenting and this woman still thought that I was a woman. And so that gave me confidence because... If people think I'm a woman when I'm just being a guy, maybe I shouldn't worry about people thinking I'm a man when I'm a woman. Yeah. You know? So that made me feel like, oh, shit, yeah. Before I was wrestling with my gender identity, people thought I was a freaking chick all the goddamn time. So maybe, uh, so it's ridiculous for me to go out to the supermarket as a woman to get some fruit and vegetables, and then go, I'm so nervous. People know that I'm uh, it, it, dressed up. People will think I'm a man. I'm so ashamed. And it's like, bitch, when you were wearing suits and ties and your hair was short, people still thought you were a chick. Yeah. So you shouldn't worry when you've got your hair done and your fake boobies and your nice dress uh, out and about in public one of my trans friends told me that like it will take a long time to get over this but I'm just going to tell you most people don't give a fuck <laughs> most people don't care most people will look at you for two seconds and then go about your life you will be scared and paranoid and you'll want to see everyone's reaction don't worry about it people don't give a shit you can dress however you want it's fine so that's the hard thing that i'm trying to get over um and, and i've been doing a pretty good job yeah, yeah. so so yeah. I, I got the kids the vaccine and and a nurse called me ma'am and that really gave me a lot of confidence yes. <laughs> yay so that's been my week how are you bunny I'm good. I'm good. Nothing terribly exciting. Uh, what the fuck was I going to ask you, though? Have you checked out any cinema therapy? And what no. have you thought? What? what is that? Cinema therapy, the YouTube show I mentioned a while back. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to write that down for next week so I can. I may have subscribed to it, but I don't know. Yeah. Cinema. Oh, I, I remember. I have one on my Watch Later playlist, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, yeah, the therapist talking about movies. It is, yeah, it's, it's a fun, 
interesting little show because he'll, he'll take some deep dives into like psycholo- I don't know what to call it like psychological thought yeah you know but like he'll take a he'll take a movie and he'll base the whole thing around like childhood trauma you know and yeah. you wind up learning a lot about childhood trauma or the Incredibles just childhood development you know? Well, I I always say this whenever anyone mentions The Incredibles. Disney should make more movies where very young children are shot at with machine guns. Yes. For I, me, that makes a movie so much better. I have always been a fan of that, yes. That's why I never saw that movie, The Sandlot, because like, I see these kids and they're playing baseball, but no one is shooting at them. Yeah. Then why should I care? <laughs> yeah, I, I I've got one in my watch later, but I'll I'll make sure to watch it uh, this week yeah. when I'm not getting high and watching Macy's Thanksgiving Day parades, which will be the rest of the week for me. Cool. I'm and really you, excited. Okay, okay. So, where can I watch it live streaming? Where do you watch it? I watch it on NBC. We have we don't have cable. We, we have uh, we watch YouTube and streaming services through our PlayStation Four, but we bought an antenna and just watch regular TV. Really? Yeah. So it's just on NBC. I don't know about streaming at all. I'm assuming uh, it's streaming on the NBC app. On I don't on. Know. The, because you can get the NBC streaming service for free, like Hulu. So I think you can probably watch it there, but I'm not for sure. But we just watch it on the regular old television. I'm really excited to watch this year. Uh, I'm going to have to track it down. Why? Is there something particular happening this year? No, I'm just excited every year. It, it's, this, oh, is, yeah. this, is, this is just one of my favorite times of the year. Yeah. I love the non sequiturs that happen. It's like, a, here's a float. You get a hat. And then in it, you put a bunch of float ideas, and then you put a bunch of corporate sponsors, and then you put a bunch of celebrities, and then you put a bunch of songs. And it's like, okay, Harry Connick Jr. singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on a float celebrating Native Americans (laughs) sponsored by Microsoft. Okay. There you go. Yes, That's ten minutes of a three-hour parade, and it's such a fucking uh, weird one. And I, I just want to say, if you don't know what I'm talking about, did the Hill Street Blues Cops release a fucking album that I missed? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was so fucking confused. I. But, but, yeah, so every year, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is like the, 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 like, uh, Christmas is important, but, like, yeah. the morning of Thanksgiving is, like, number two for me. I think I like it even more than Halloween. Yeah? Because I try not, cause, yeah, because I try not to eat candy anymore. Like, it's exciting for the kids, but what's more exciting for me is the morning of Thanksgiving. Because the Macy's Parade is so batshit insane, and I love every second of it. And I'm excited for this year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You know why, Bunny? I won't have to see an Oshkosh Bagosh commercial every nine minutes! Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. I I can't wait for this week. What I did was I just wrote down a ton of shit... (laughs) <laughs> in like this massive list and I'm just going to rapid fire it. Okay. Did John Ratzenberger release an album I didn't know about? I do not know. But I think we're both straining at the leash. I mean, I, I know I'm yeah. not, I am not saying things so that uh, we yeah. don't go off on a rant. So oh, maybe so we should just get on over there, get ourselves a break and, and jump in 
Yeah. This has been an exciting uh, bunny versus because it was one bunny versus that you could also cut into three different bunny versus. Yes. So it's like bunny verception. Yes, this is true. And I like that. Yeah. This is true. Oh. Should I pierce my ears? Never done that before, ever. Yeah, I should do that. Ooh, that's so exciting. I, I, I actually answered the phone this week. Hmm. Which, like, I never do because I'm all afraid of scam callers. And this was probably a scam caller. I don't really know, but, like, it was kind of, it was weird somebody calling me and asking me what I think about self adhesive tape. Hmm. You know, so I'm thinking maybe a scam, but like, I I I had to say, you know, you're not supposed to say anything affirmative, and you're not supposed to say yes to these things at all. But like, I couldn't help it. I just had to say, self adhesive tape. Yes, please. I love that. And cut on that. Cut on that.